This is an overview of Lakewood's digital rain gauge calibration system. In the photo here, we see some of the equipment that is used to generate the rain gauge calibration certificate, which is on the right side of the screen over here. And specifically, we can see the net result of the histogram in this region here on the calibration certificate. We'll now take a closer look at the actual rain gauge calibration equipment that is used to generate this certificate. This is a video overview of Lakewood's digital calibrator. We currently have a tipping bucket gauge attached to a leveling platform here. The three bolts allow us to level the gauge accurately to the bubble level that we can see here. And this rain gauge calibrator is set up right now to um, uh, put a very accurate amount of uh, water into uh, each side of the uh, tipping bucket. The um, bucket is then wired into a monitoring control board and that uh, control board is then plugged into uh, the USB connector on the computer here. We take a look at the operation of the um, rain gauge calibrator here we can see that there's a, a variable s speed pump is putting the water into each side of the tipping bucket here through this uh, uh, tube and um, we also notice that the bucket fills quite quickly initially and then the pump backs off and uh, we can see the individual pump strokes here uh, as uh, it does the final fill just before the tip. This rain gauge calibrator is all battery operated so this whole process can be uh, performed in the field and um, the unit will do about 15 to 20 calibrations between battery charges. As we discussed, the um, uh, unit is plugged into the computer here and uh, we'll take a look at the software that's running here for the rain gauge calibrator and um, also uh, we have an interface here which allows us to monitor the operation of the switch on the rain gauge and um, we'll be taking a look at the software that also does that. This is the software that Lakewood developed for its digital rain gauge calibrator. On the left here we can see various parameters of the gauge that are put into the software and are later fed through to the calibration certificate. Specifically, we can see the gauge diameter here and how many millimeters per tip the gauge is expected to produce. The software then takes a look at that and then determines how many millimeters per tip is required. Along the top of the screen, we can see the progress bar and that tells us what portion of the total test volume we have used here. In this case, we have uh, used about a quarter of the test volume, so we're at about 250 milliliters out of a liter here. Now we'll take a look at how the software provides us information on what the rain gauge is actually doing on the calibrator. We'll start by turning the pump on. And um, we can hear the pump running in the background. The high pitch tone is actually the high speed operation of the pump. And then as the pump slows down, we hear the pause in the background uh, sound that's going on there. We take a look at this screen right now. We see that we have um, a histogram on the top section here, which is comprised of these two histograms that are down below here. The right histogram is in red and the left one is in blue. 
We can also see that the gauge now is uh, operating with um, a significant error of about 6.6% 6 .6 here, and this is primarily due to the left side of the gauge, which is indicated with the blue histogram here. The right side of the gauge is running fairly close to the 0.2 millimeters per tip that we're expecting to see, which is indicated right here. We also can note that um, the arrow here will tell us uh, roughly that we have to uh, move the adjusting bolt on the tipping bucket gauge upward to bring it closer to the 0.2 calibration. This particular gauge has just come in from the field, so we're doing um, a pre-cal on it to see what the calibration information is like on the gauge and to see how far off it is. If this factor was put into the previously recorded data, that would help to correct the data uh, from the gauge which it had already recorded. Note here that we have a fast fill percentage control here. If I drop that back to 40%, when the um, bucket hits the 40% point, the pump will then uh, cut back. And we can hear now that uh, the um, data coming through um, is, is coming through at a lot slower pace now because we've reduced that fill time. Likewise, if we move that up to, say, 80%, then the test will proceed quite a bit faster. Now we'll back this back off to 70%, which is a fairly nominal um, fill, fast fill rate for a situation like this where there is a span between the left and the right side of the gauge. We can now turn the pump off and then proceed with adjusting the gauge to bring it closer to the expected or the proper calibration here of uh, 0.2 millimeters per tip. After the gauge is adjusted and about one liter of water is put through the calibrator and the rain gauge, the net result is about 0.17% uh, error on this particular gauge. This histogram here is a combination of both the left and right histograms and that is the data that will be sent to the calibration certificate. The information can be copied to a clipboard with this button here, and um, then the data can be pasted into an Excel file which generates the calibration certificate. Additional software is set up with the calibrator to monitor the switch performance on the tipping bucket rain gauge. And here on this trace, we can see that the, uh, as the switch closes here, we have a very clean edge. And as the switch opens up, we also have another very clean edge here. And this is a um, indication of a properly operating switch. In this case, it's operating around 140 milliseconds of pulse width here. So this has been an overview of the equipment that is used to generate a digital rain gauge certificate as we see over here. If we look a little closer at the certificate itself, we can see that the data that was uh, put into the calibration software is now transferred to the certificate. And this is done through the transfer of a CSV file to an Excel type file and then a macro is run on this data to produce the certificate. As we take a look down below here, this is the final histogram uh, that comes off of the uh, rain gauge calibrator and is put on the certificate. This is the center point here at 0.2 millimeters and we can see the distribution of the pulses around that 0.2 millimeter 
tip point and we can see the the tip count uh, range here uh, that goes for the full test and that's the overview of the rain gauge calibration system it's generally recommended that tipping bucket type rain gauges be calibrated at least once a year and if you'd like your rain gauges calibrated uh, please contact Lakewood Systems at 780-462-9110